Hello everybody, what's up, and finally welcome back. You're here with me, Shapeless, aka The Game Tamer, after a short little weekend hiatus due to family visiting. Uh, I do have some pretty funny uh, clips that will be shown in a couple of original videos that are also going to be coming out later tonight. If you want to check those out, they will be under my Sly Cooper section. But anyways, let's get to write what we're trying to do. Lord Gnosis, the in-depth character tutorial for him. He is a bruiser type hero. And, uh, he's a freaking cow. A freaking cow. Okay, a bull. Sorry. There's gender differences there. I apologize. But anyway, you got skewer, your melee attack combo. And then you got chuck. You can right click to throw a spear. Real basic, real simple. Uh, you have gore, which is the Q, which is melee attack that interrupts attacks on hit. And bull rush, which increases your movement speed by uh, for five seconds. Then you have Labyrinth, deals armor ignoring damage, stuns all nearby enemies, and inflicts bleed and cracked armor. The man hits hard. The man does uh, CCs and stuff. He's, uh, he's a man. But anyways. Yes, you are. But anyways, we press on. Alright. This is your basic attacks. You have your throw, which has a very long range and a very short cooldown. Let's see how long I can actually go. Okay, so. Uh, oh, okay, you can get this thing fucking far. Oh, we got him! Oh, ho, ho, no scopes! Well, I mean. Anyway, this is your Q. And this is your E. Which gives you the movement speed bonus and is usable while sprinting to increase your sprint move speed as well. But let's get right to it, shall we? Left mouse click. You have pierce, which you can make your left mouse click inflict bleeding damage. 15 da 50 damage a second for 3 seconds. They're making a lot of noise. <laughs> then we have bruiser, which is landing the first 4 hits, boosts your basic attack damage by 20% for 3 seconds, which is pretty good. From there, we can do, after killing a foe, deal double damage for five seconds. Oh. Oh. Uh, and then we have Sharpened Horns. With Bruiser's damage boost active, hitting with Skewer refreshes its duration. Hmm. I'm going to move away from these uh, dragons. They're screwing up my sounding. But anyway. So that's actually pretty good. It makes it so that, you know, you can just keep refreshing the duration and doing 20% extra damage. Not bad. You can make it so that your left mouse click inflicts cracked armor. Or, you can make it adding ass assault to injury adds more bleeding against bleeding foes, which is plus 50 damage per second for 3 seconds, stacks at 100%. It's pretty good bleed. Moving on! Well, actually, I would say that probably, like, if you're going to be in the middle of things, then Bruiser into Sharpened Horns is the most meta choice. But if you're going to go with, like, the I'm a forward tank and I need to not always be in there, then the bleed's not bad. But if you need to go, like, the CC route or opening up for damaging carries, then you want to go with Cracked Armor. Versatile. Versatility is uh, very good for this man. All right, for his right click, we have Taurus which you can hold it and throws the spear at a targeted area and slows enemies or throws spears or we have heavy barrel which uh, you can hold and when fully charged causes bleeding for four seconds but it adds three seconds to the cooldown what is the cooldown already? oh it's one one second cooldown so you get a four second cooldown bleed I mean if you can hit it why not uh, damage option right here uh, from there, we can go when fully charged. A hit gives plus 25% basic attack damage for 5 seconds. Okay. When fully charged, foes hit in the back take 150 damage. Plus 150 damage. Hmm. So you could do an additional 45% basic attack damage constantly. If you can, like, like kind of weave that in. Like, start with that. Engage and be like... You know, just kind of beat the piss out of people. That could work. Uh, for our CC options, we have uh, Spear Time, which is hold right mouse click, reduces cooldown by 3 seconds for each enemy hit. And Immobilizing Taurus, which you hold right mouse click, 
and which cripples enemies for three seconds. Slow and reduced jump height. That sucks. Uh, so obviously your CC option is to the right and your damage options are to the left. Uh, these seem pretty versatile in the fact that you can go whichever way you really see fit for the situation. All right, for the Q. Uh, on hit launches enemies, that's not always a bad thing, especially since what the animation is. Uh, I kind of figured that would be like what it does in general. Or you can have bulldoze, which you could make it do a, a powerful second attack. Okay, so a damage option and a CC option. Very straightforward. Alright, E into Q. Uh, during E, uh, during your E, which is bull rush, hitting reactivates its effect and refreshes the duration. That's pretty good. And then we have more gore, which on hit also launches enemies in a small area around your target. Hmm. That's not bad either. Hmm. Alright, let's check out the damage options. Alright, we have initiating gore. Hitting an enemy over 75% health gives you plus 25% basic attack damage for 5 seconds. So now we're up to, what, 70% additional basic attack damage? Or, um, we have... QQ deals plus 100 damage and killing an enemy grants 50% focus. Well, that's not too bad either. Uh, I really think that initiating gore is your meta choice for damage, and that for CC, if they're, like, all one specific, then I would go with more gore, but if you need to, like, you know, track down carries and stuff, I would go with refreshing gore. Now for the E. Major beef. Gives you plus 400 HP for 5 seconds, no longer gives a speed boost. Okay. Or we have gain plus 15% basic attack damage for 5 seconds. So we can go up to 85% additional attack damage uh, by right clicking, like holding the charge, right clicking with a bleed, activating your E, queuing in, and then just basic attacking the shit out of things. Which will probably give you about. Uh, maybe about three seconds. Three seconds of basic attacks at like 80% damage, which is not bad at all. Uh, for major beef, we can go on use, interrupts, and damages foes in front of you. Uh, 150 damage ignores armor. Not bad. Or gives an additional 200 health. Okay, so if you're going tanky this way, if you need to go with CC, go that way. Fair enough. Uh, Raging Bull. Uh, from that, you can go with long running, which is you gain 20 stamina from it. Not bad. Or you can have Mighty Yorp. He increases move speed, applies to nearby allies, and gives focus for each hero affected. That's actually really good. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that if you're going meta choice for, like, teammates and stuff, it would probably be Raging Bull into Mighty Yorp, just to get and continue your damage output. But you guys already know how I said about the E with the tanky and interruption stuff. So, that's, uh, that's your skills. Let's go ahead with our upgrades, shall we? Wind up. Deals more damage and ignores armor. On the right mouse click, okay. Uh, trample, Q covers more ground and deals 50 more damage. Or, Bull Rush lasts 3 seconds longer. Um, hmm. Let's see. Would it be the movement speed or would it be like the basic attack damage as well? I don't know. Um, if it if it affects the basic attack damage, then we would probably go Fury. But I really, th I still think that Fury is the more uh, powerful damage option, especially since your basic attacks give triple focus during Bull Rush. So that's probably the best way to go. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these meta options, and we're gonna see what goes on for damage. We're going to damage everybody. So let's go ahead with QQ and then Q. So heavy barrel into skill shot and then we go bruiser into um, uh, sharpened horns. So I think what we're going to be doing is holding this. Not bad. It does pretty decent damage. 
All right, let's find. Let's see what kind of damage we do to a small guy. Oh man, that cleave! That cleave! Honestly, he's a, he's like a freaking truck. Moo! Smacked! Oh shit, I messed up. Alright, well, let's let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's, let's, let's try it on a different guy. Okay, okay. So. Not bad, he does a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. I hate it when that happens. However, he still hits like a truck. So, the way that the game works, if you're like holding a direction and hit shift, or like hitting, holding shift and like hit a direction, you'll sometimes immediately dash and waste stamina and it does this nonsensical crazy attack. So... Alright, now we have the increased damage and we're hitting real freaking hard honestly holy crap but yeah his uh his damage option is pretty nuts and that's your labyrinth alt but anyways guys uh that is honestly feel like i honestly feel like this is the way to go uh, i definitely feel like this is the best option for um him in general uh, but i think that we could probably go a little bit differently because you can also do Dominator, which gives you 5% damage for each kill without dying. And then you have Remorseless, which you get speed and damage after every kill. So if you really want to just do damage, you can do that. Or you can do the 10 focus for each one, which makes it so that when you're building focus, you gain a dick ton of focus. But also if you're going tanky, you can go Immunity to Weakness, Recover Days twice as fast. Then you get plus 20 to self-healing when out of combat, your health returns faster. Or 25% degen resistance. Uh, and then after you ult, your degen resistance is after using focus, and they last until you die. So, once again, damage options are damage options. So, let's go ahead and kill a couple more enemies. And we'll see how much damage we can really stack. So, now we're going to go see how quickly we can fuck up this uh, this man here all right it doesn't really seem like the damage is too different but against the smaller guys it definitely is like it, it's definitely obvious against the smaller guys but damage in general is definitely more obvious against the smaller the smaller dudes get out of here might <laughs> get get pooned but anyways guys uh that's it for my lord nasa's tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh as much as i did making it for you this game is really fun and just awesome to make videos for uh, i will be uploading more and tomorrow i will be uploading the new hero and my meta choices and thoughts on him as well so once again and as always guys your hero is shapeless and stay tame. I will try to do the same. Don't forget to whip those like and sub buttons into shape for me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.